Hey, this is Jamie with Useful Knowledge. So a few years ago, we put out one of our first videos entitled, How to Kill Fire Ants Naturally Using Diatomaceous Earth. So every summer I get questions, hey, does this really work? So this summer we decided to do a true study to find out if diatomaceous earth really kills fire ant mounds. So what we did, we took five acres, we found 31 ant mounds, and we treated each ant mound with diatomaceous earth. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you exactly what we did, and we're gonna show you the results. Okay, what we're gonna use for this ant study is Red Lake diatomaceous earth. This is the same stuff you can get at most co-ops and farm stores. And I've got some flags, and what we're gonna do with each flag, we're gonna put a number for the ant bed. And then that way we can go back in a week and we can see what's going on with that ant bed, if it's dead or if it's not dead. Hey Pearl, you realize you're sitting right next to two big ant beds, right? So there's a huge ant bed here. And there's an ant bed here, it's a little bit smaller. Still, thousands of ants, fire ants, in each one of these beds. And there's another one right down from these two. We're gonna kill them all. Okay, for each one of these fire ant mounds, we're gonna disturb it, then we're gonna put diatomaceous earth on it, and we're gonna number it so that we know how many we have out here so we can do a good study. And obviously they're not too happy. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a pretty big handful of diatomaceous earth. I'm gonna go over them and around them. Okay, so what I did here, I put it on top of the mound after I disturbed it and around the mound. The main reason I put it around the mound is so they will not forage for food. Okay, we're gonna mark this number one. This is mound number seven, as you can see right there. We just put the diatomaceous earth on there and they are not happy at all. Okay, we'll come back in a week and see what it looks like. Okay, this is number 13. Obviously that was a very large ant bed. We just disturbed it. I'm gonna put some diatomaceous earth on it. See what happens. Okay, number 13 in the books. We're gonna come back later, see what happens to number 13. This was a very large ant mound. Probably took five good handfuls of diatomaceous earth. And there goes Pearl with something in her mouth, who knows. What do you say, Liberty? Do you hate fire ants like I do? There's number 13. Liberty just watched us put diatomaceous earth all over number 13, so she's pretty happy. Okay, before we get into the final results, let's remember, we only treated these ant mounds with diatomaceous earth one time. We treated them, it did not rain for about seven days, and then it rained for almost two solid weeks. It rained to the point where we could not put on a second treatment of diatomaceous earth. Okay, here's mound number 15, and this is what I call a completely dead mound. There's been no maintenance and there's no ant activity whatsoever. And this mound was a huge one. It was about two feet across. Okay, remember 13, the big, huge ant mound? Well, this is what it looks like. Now granted, this has been about three weeks. We've had several rains, but this thing is severely wounded. It's not completely dead, but it's severely wounded. You can obviously see they are not maintaining the mound at all. There's just a little bit of maintenance that's been done right in the middle. We're actually going to disturb it and see what's going on. So as you can see, there's actually ants coming out of it, but it's nothing like a full vibrant mound that it was before. So I'm going to mark this one down as wounded. So on this mound 21, you can obviously see the ants have been doing maintenance. So this is our first one that's actually survived the treatment of diatomaceous earth. Pearl, are you going to show us 26 and 27? I want to show you 26 because it's huge and it's completely dead. And just over from it is 27 and it's completely dead. Okay, final results. The actual number of dead ant mounds were 19 out of 31 or 61.29%. The actual number of wounded ant mounds 
and those are the ones that will probably be dead in the next week or two are 10 out of 31 or 32.26 percent the actual number of ant mounds that actually looked okay was 2 out of 31 or 6.45 percent so if someone asks does diatomaceous earth actually affect ant mounds in the southeastern United States the answer is yes so we hope you gain some useful knowledge on a real ant study with diatomaceous earth and fire ant mounds. Thanks for watching.